Hey guys, Mr. Fix It here. Been a while since I made a video for you guys. I got a pretty old school light here, pretty much old school light here. And I want to show you guys these old pull chain lights up here. Have you ever pulled on the chain and it popped out and you didn't know what to do? Now you can't turn the light off. Well, I'm going to show you today how you can replace that with the new piece. Very simple. It's not a hard job to do. If you understand the, the basics of taking down a light fixture, getting it unscrewed from the the um, electricity, pulling it down, you can wire this piece in and put it back up, no problem at all. I'm going to go ahead and proceed right now on taking that all down. I'll be back on wiring it in. Okay, so we have our light fixture down, and we can see right here, like I said, don't do this if you don't understand the basics of wiring, your, your hot lead, your neutral lead. If you don't understand that, don't do this. But if you understand basic wiring, this is very simple. Took it down, and we can see right here that the piece was cracked, and that's what ultimately made it fail within its housing, where it sits. So I'm going to go ahead very simply, just disconnect it from the black. This lead was going up to continuing the circuit up to the uh, through the ceiling so it's very simple we just remove this and when we replace it we're not we don't have to worry about which one goes to which would this this right go black or to white but it doesn't matter when you're doing a switch like this um, it's just an interrupter basically in the electrical current when you switch on switch off so what we do is you run your piece unscrew this a lot of people will hire an electrician for something like this and you know it'll run you you know a service call gonna, gonna cost you a good who knows hundred hundred and quarter 150 bucks if you got an honest electrician not to say that they're not honest just shit happens to sit proper again actually I'm going to reset it this way work out better going down put it in there nice and tight draw your string through I mean your chain through screw this back on or on don't break it now. Everything's plastic here. There's no need to go crazy. So you snug it up good. And that should be sufficient right there. We're going to take one lead. We're going to go back to the black. Yeah, hot. Wire nut. get back to the ceiling we'll go ahead and we'll wire in this will go back to the white lead coming down from the ceiling and we'll put a cap on that and then this goes up to the black wire that'll be up there so we got white that'll go here and then the black coming out of the ceiling to here and that's your interrupter so when you flip the switch click it'll stop the electricity click it again it'll allow the flow to continue or vice versa so pretty simple and uh, at this point you probably want to add your chain extenders as well at this point they give you a string with it with the new kit but if you have the old chain the chain is always going to work out better for you the string is just uh, yeah, I don't know, kind of cheap for me all right i'll pop this baby on and we'll get back to the ceiling in just a minute okay so we like i said we got our black leads connected our white lead connected and then the other end of the switch going up to the wall now we're just going to reconnect and give it a test okay we have it all back up while i had it down i cleaned the globe you do these little things on jobs don't just let it stay dirty i mean your hair so we cleaned it up it was all dirty inside before dust all over it cleaned it up the best we could got it to uh looking good and 
we're back to operational here. Thank you, Fix-It Land.